This is Mark Young with XLM Solutions. And today I'm gonna to show you a video of how we can integrate CATIA with SOLIDWORKS PDM. For the, those of you that do not know it, with the SOLIDWORKS PDM 2018 version, it now supports and understands the links between products and parts, assemblies and children for CATIA related data. Today we'll talk about how we have developed solutions to enhance that integration with SOLIDWORKS PDM and CATIA. We have two solutions in our toolkit to do this. One is the ability to have a bi-directional mapping between a PDM variables and CATIA. This is done through a uh, macro in uh, CATIA and also can be done through a PDM task. We also have the ability to create PDFs of CATIA drawings within SOLIDWORKS PDM. So let's show you that. As you can see, within SOLIDWORKS PDM, I have CATIA data. I can edit the, the data in the data card and save it. Um, in this case, I am going to be reading data from the data card and populating the CATIA title block. However, the sheet size, which is read only here, within SOLIDWORKS PDM will be read from the title block and fed back to SOLIDWORKS PDM data card. So if we bring up CATIA, we see our data card here and we can zoom in. So we have our, our data card here that is pretty much blank. However, you notice that size or sheet size is filled in. I can run my CATIA macro. And we see that the data from SOLIDWORKS PDM is automatically filled into the data card. And we can save it. We can close it go back to SOLIDWORKS PDM and notice that the data in SOLIDWORKS PDM has been passed over and for example, sheet size has been updated. You can check this in. And actually before I check it in, I'm gonna make a couple more changes to it. I'm gonna change description make a, a change to it as well. I am not gonna update it in this time. And we'll also notice the revision field. So now I will check it in. And this is a demo, the data was changed in the approval state, but we'll make a change state to request a change. In theory, this is the state where changes would be made, but we can now approve it again. And when we approve it, we will get a PDM task that is kicked off. And this task will create the PDF of the CATIA drawing, as you can see that's happening in the background, and update the title block. So it does everything as a normal SOLIDWORKS PDM task would do to create PDFs, it just does it within CATIA, and it gets completed. Upon completion, we can see that a PDF of our drawing has been created and put into the vault, and the various fields in the title block has been updated accordingly as well. As you can see, the revision was updated and the description was updated as necessary. So with that, hopefully I was able to demonstrate to you configurable and bi-directional metadata, metadata mapping between PDM variables and CATIA parameters. 
the ability to convert CATIA data into a derived output. In this case, we did a PDF, but we could also use other derived outputs like step files, IGES, uh, DWFs, et cetera. Um, the task also can perform metadata mappings to the derived output as well. Uh, we can dynamically determine where that derived output file is stored. In this case, we put it inside of PDM in the same folder as the CATIA drawing, but we could put it outside of PDM on a network drive or in a different folder structure as desired. We can also create dynamic mappings of metadata from the CATIA drawing to the derived output file as data card. And, and the solution that you've seen today can be extended to really meet any specific customer requirements. So all that put together, we really believe for those of you that need to manage CATIA uh, within SOLIDWORKS PDM, this could really help you improve your current management of that data within your whole SOLIDWORKS PDM process. With that, thank you. If you'd like to find out more information, please contact me, Mark Young. I can be reached at 248-926-5932. You can send an email to info at xlmsolutions.com or reach us per our website. Thank you very much.